Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it still bull market trend, what's going on with the stock market world on weekly time frame. As usually, let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for VBull. Let's move to VBull and... Today we are going to talk about daily and weekly time frame. Remember, I don't trade on a weekly time frame. I do only monitor weekly, monthly, and quarterly time frame. But I do uh, for my swing trading. I'm using four hours and daily time frame for entry and exit position. If you want to learn more about Vibol setup, just go to to the description. There is the link about Vibol setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages, white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator lines, are RSI indicator lines, also oscillator bars. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my screen, you see recently, bars move above MA5, above green line. It was bullish crossover, bullish trend, and MA5 did bullish crossover over red line and yellow line. It is bullish crossover. Recently, what we observed, MA5 did bearish crossover over red line. It is bearish reversal signal. And MA5 did bearish crossover over 20. It's confirmed bearish reversal trend. Last bar <coughs> moved below MA50, 25 and 10. Bearish reversal signal at the same time on the moving average MACD, you see. Bearish crossover, RSI bearish crossover, awesome oscillator change color to, from green to red. All indicators align in the same trend direction. It means USA dollar is bearish on weekly time frame and it is bullish for Qs. Let's check daily. Daily did bearish crossover over 200. Uh, looks like it wants to bounce, but it touched 200. It can be resistant now. 200 now is resistant. Also bearish. Bearish USA dollar, it's a bullish for equities and Qs, NASDAQ and S&P 500. Now let's move to uh, Qs daily. All uh, so, uh, MACD did bearish crossover, awesome oscillator did bearish crossover, and MA5 ready for bearish crossover. Only RSI didn't make bearish crossover. It's building bearish reversal after the top formed. So far, still sideways. Weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, you see it was here. Let me see. Let me show you. Uh, weekly uh, price action from this point to this point, bullish trend, right? Bullish trend, you see bearish divergence on MACD, bearish divergence on RSI. Let me show you RSI, bearish divergence, and bearish divergence on awesome oscillator. It means Q's, NASDAQ Q's wants to go bearish. Still, trend is bullish with bearish divergences. Let's, let's see daily. Daily, yeah. Uh, bullish with bearish reversal divergences. Okay, now let's move to VXN volatility index for uh, NASDAQ. Bearish trend. Last bar at the resistant level, a lot of resistance at, at this level. And it has some bullish divergences on RSI and MACD. Bearish trend for volatility, VXN, it is bullish for, for Qs. SPX, S&P 500, daily bullish crossover, bullish, let me turn off. SPX, bullish crossover, bullish trend, actually it has the same, let me show you. Price action is bullish, right? It's a double top. The double top price action uh, on weekly. 
and RSI has what? RSI has bearish divergence, not RSI, this is MACD. RSI also has bearish divergence and awesome oscillator also huge bearish divergence multiple bearish divergences it wants to have correction also s p 500 on weekly daily daily bullish trend yeah, just bullish trend and RSI also in overbought territory, very overbought Qs and S&P 500 also. VIX volatility index for NASDAQ still bearish, I'm sorry, for NASDAQ for S&P 500, VIX still bearish in a bearish territory. No bullish reversal confirmation yet on weekly time frame, on daily still bearish. It has bullish divergence, let me show you. You see price action. From this point to this point, it's a downtrend bearish. And MACD has what? Bullish divergence. RSI also has bullish divergence. Let me show you. Bullish divergence. Even awesome oscillator has bullish divergence. That's all. That's all. Uh, let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones. Let's start weekly. Similar story on weekly time frame. Let me show you bullish price action, right? And bearish divergence on RS on MACD. On all indicators. Uh, RSI actually no. Bearish divergence on awesome oscillator and MACD RSI already destroyed bearish divergence. Bullish trend on weekly. Let's see daily. Daily also bullish, right? Also bullish. No bearish divergences, but RSI in very overbought territory. It definitely wants to have correction. VXD volatility index for Dow Jones weekly time frame. Uh, what's going on? Why it's so slow? Okay. VXD a bearish trend. It is bullish for Dow Jones, right? IWM weekly. Let's start. Last bar did bullish crossover, bullish trend. RSI Hekanachi, all indicators did bullish crossover. They ready for bullish reversal on weekly time frame. And daily, it is bullish trend also. Weekly and daily bullish trend, it did bullish reversal. And now it's confirmed bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators for IWM. Apple. Apple daily, let's see. MA5 did bearish crossover, bearish reversal on all indicators. Now it's kind of building sideways or bull trap, but ge generally it did bearish reversal. Ready for bearish correction. Weekly time frame for Apple. Similar story, bullish trend, let's see. On weekly time frame, it is bullish trend. Actually, no. Price action is kind of still downtrend, right? Okay, a bullish crossover, bullish trend on all indicators. Weekly and Apple and daily. Tesla, daily, last bar still below SMA 5 and 10, but it's still about 20. Kind of bullish territory, bullish. Uh, bullish signal on daily time frame. Weekly for Tesla, MA5 ready bearish for bullish crossover from bearish territory. You see, for last six months, six weeks, or seven weeks, uh, price action was bounced. It did bounce from MA200 from white line. 
looks like it wants to bounce it can be rejected from uh, ma20 yellow line and 100 purple line you see there is the purple line 100 it can be rejection because now it's a resistant or it can continue bullish trend nvidia weekly bullish trend bullish price action bearish divergences on weekly time frame but price action still bullish with bearish divergences daily daily ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 last bar below 20 bearish reversal signal on all indicators bearish trend for nvidia microsoft daily last bar moved below ma5 and 10 still about 20 still kind of positive but all indicators macd are cyclic and actually all did bearish reversal already now let's move to weekly weekly bullish trend what it actually did it did you see price action is uptrend bullish and macd has bearish divergence let me show you here bearish divergence on rsi rsi in very overbought territory and bearish divergence on, on awesome oscillator that's all right and it's a bullish trend with bearish divergences for microsoft on daily weekly and weekly uh, amazon weekly time frame similar story but yeah let me show you bullish trend with bearish sorry with bearish divergence on the macd on rsi on awesome oscillator bearish divergences on all indicators trend is bullish on weekly daily time frame also bearish reversal signal on all indicators uh, ma ma and 10 and 5 still kind of sideways sideways no bearish reversal signal yes yet but it's rsi in a very overbought territory and ready for correction baba is negative right baba is very negative daily time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend on daily and weekly is also bearish last bar below all moving averages all indicators bearish on weekly and daily time frame now let's do summary usa dollar still bearish it is bullish for smp and q's and equities also bullish all indexes and equities on weekly time frame they still positive bullish with bearish divergences on all indicators and at the same time at the same time uh yeah at the same time uh are assigned over bad territory for all indexes and equities it means it wants to have correction wants to have correction because are assigned very overbought territory that's all that's all be ready i believe next week it can be it could be correction next week be ready for it now let's move to disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose we're using paper training simulator Thank you for watching simple trading style vid videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate uh, all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.